এডুকেশন অনলাইন সবাইকে স্বাগত জানিয়ে শুরু করে দিচ্ছি এখনকার অনুষ্ঠান আমাদের অনলাইন ক্লাসরুম এবং তোমাদের অত্যন্ত প্রিয় অনলাইন ক্লাসরুম যারা আমাদের সঙ্গে স্টুডেন্ট বন্ধুরা রয়েছে তাদের জন্য বলছি ক্লাস ইলেভেনে কেমিস্ট্রি নিয়ে আজকের অনলাইন ক্লাসরুমে তোমাদের সঙ্গে আলোচনা হবে এবং তোমাদেরকে ক্লাস ইলেভেনে কেমিস্ট্রি পড়ানোর জন্য আমাদের সঙ্গে উপস্থিত রয়েছেন স্যার অর্ণব কুমার দাস আমি স্যারকে সবার আগে স্বাগত জানাবো ওয়েলকাম স্যার স্যার তো ক্লাস ইলেভেনে কি আপনি পড়াচ্ছেন আজকে কোন চ্যাপ্টার actually students uh, you have already heard that uh, about the division of syllabus already syllabus start dutto part e divided hoyeche hmm. ekta first semester ekta second semester hmm. to first semester e seven chapters are there and uh, student must be aware of the fact and er moddhe ami je chapter ta ajke কিছু টপিক্স নিয়ে আলোচনা করব সেটা হচ্ছে রেডক্স এটা ফার্স্ট সেমিস্টারে আছে তোমরা অলরেডি জানো এই রেডক্সের ওপর একটা পার্ট যেহেতু সময় আছে তার মধ্যে এই পার্টটা নিয়ে আজকে একটু ডিসকাস করব আচ্ছা তো যাই হোক আমি শুরু করছি আজকে রেডক্স নিয়ে তোমরা অলরেডি লোয়ার ক্লাসে রেডক্স সম্পর্কে অ্যাওয়ার রেডক্স মিন্স রিডাক অক্সিডেশন অ্যান্ড রিডাকশন অকার সাইমালটেনাসলি অ্যান্ড দিস রিয়াকশান ইজ কল রেডক্স রিয়াকশান রিডাকশন প্লাস অক্সিডেশন ন হোয়াট ইজ অক্সিডেশন এর আগে তোমরা যেটা পড়েছ যে অক্সিডেশন ইজ ডিফাইন্ড অ্যাজ দ্য প্রসেস অফ অ্যাডিশন অফ অক্সিজেন or any electronegative element to a substance or removal of hydrogen and any electropositive element from a substance and an electronic concept losing of electron from a substance is called oxidation simultaneously reduction is defined as the addition of hydrogen or any electropositive element to a substance and removal of oxygen or any electronegative element from a substance that is reduction and in electronic concept reduction is the gaining of electron to a substance so electronic concept are upon class 11 on a greasy jordia hoche j losing of electron and gaining of electron each harao আর একটা ফ্যাক্টার তোমাদের অ্যাড হবে ক্লাস ইলেভেনে দ্যাট ইজ অক্সিডেশন নাম্বার এই অক্সিডেশন নাম্বার নিয়ে আমি প্রথমেই ডিসকাস করব কারণ আগের ডেফিনেশনগুলো অলরেডি তোমরা লোয়ার ক্লাসে করে নিয়েছো এখন অক্সিডেশন নাম্বার ইজ দ্য মোস্ট ইম্পর্টেন্ট ফর ডিটারমাইনিং রেডক্স রিয়াকশান হোয়াট ইজ অক্সিডেশন নাম্বার অক্সিডেশন নাম্বার অক্সিডেশন নাম্বার ইট ইজ দ্য হাইপোথেটিক্যাল চার্জ পার অ্যাটম অফ অ্যান এলিমেন্ট হোয়েন কম্বাইন্ড উইথ আদার এলিমেন্টস ইন এ কম্পাউন্ড ইন এন আর্সেল চার্জ পার অ্যাটম that is the oxidation number now when an element combines with different elements in a compound and a hypothetical charge has been assigned to that atom there may be chemical bond you know in chemical bonding there are two types of bond one is electrovalent bond and another is covalent bond in case of electrovalent bond oxidation number is determined differently from covalent bond like in acl you know in acl the electrovalent compound and the constituent particles of an electrovalent compound are oppositely charged ions mm -hmm. and which are held together by 
strong electrostatic force of attraction. Now, sodium loses one electron and that is gained by chlorine. So, sodium loses one electron that is plus one. So, the oxidation number, I mean, you can see ON. Oxidation number of sodium is plus one. And oxidation number of chlorine is minus one. Likewise, another electrovalent compound that is say magnesium chloride Mg2 plus and 2 Cl minus. Here magnesium loses 2 electron. So, the oxidation number of magnesium plus 2 and oxidation number of chlorine minus 1 because charge per atom of chlorine is assigned here minus 1. Now, then I am giving another example of an electrovalent compound that is aluminum chloride Al 3 plus 3 Cl minus. Al 3 plus. So, aluminum loses 3 electron. So, the oxidation number of aluminum equals to plus 3 and likewise oxidation number of chlorine minus 1 because charge per atom of chlorine is minus 1. Now, that is the charge has been assigned per atom of an element when an one element combines with another element in an electrovalent or ionic bond. Now, I am coming to covalent bond. You know covalent bond is of two types. One is polar covalent and another one is non-polar covalent compound. In case of non-polar covalent compound, the charge has been assigned likewise HCl. Now, you know chlorine has more electronegativity than hydrogen atom. So, chlorine acquires partial delta negative charge and hydrogen acquires partial delta positive charge because shared pair of electron has been directed towards chlorine since chlorine has more electronegativity than hydrogen. Here oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1 and oxidation number of chlorine is minus 1 because delta negative chlorine and partial or delta positive charge of hydrogen. Another one is H2O. Now, this H2O molecule oxygen has greater electronegativity than hydrogen. So, shared pair of electron has been directed or shifted towards oxygen and oxygen acquires partial delta negative charge or fractional delta negative charge and hydrogen acquires partial delta positive charge. Now, here oxidation number of oxygen atom is minus 2 and oxidation number of hydrogen atom plus 1 because there are two bonds and in these two bonds shared pair of electron 
has been shifted towards oxygen atom since oxygen has more electronegativity. Now, another one is ammonia in H3. Likewise, nitrogen has more electronegativity than hydrogen and shared pair of electron will be shifted towards nitrogen atom and nitrogen will acquire partial or fractional delta negative and hydrogen will acquire partial or fractional delta positive charge. So, here oxidation number of nitrogen is minus 3 and oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1 that is been the hypothetical charge has been assigned per atom of an element. Now, if there is non-polar covalent, these are co polar covalent bonds. Now, if there is non-polar covalent bond, like H H H two molecule or O2 molecule or say nitrogen N2 molecule here this is non polar covalent ball because the atoms of two combining uh, two combining atoms have same electronegativity. So, shared pair of electron will not be shifted to any another any any atom. So, charge distribution will not take place here. And so, in the elemental state that is H2 hydrogen, O2 oxygen or N2 nitrogen, the oxidation number will be 0 because there will be no charge assigned to a particular atom. So, in elemental state oxidation number of an element is 0, when it is not combined with different atoms of another element. Now, come to the point that it is most likely that oxidation number resembles valency, and valency is also the charge per atom. And valency is also defined as the number of electron lost or gained by an atom of an element or an electron pair shared by an atom of an element. So, atokun jodo to discuss kollam, shekane oxidation number is sathe valency in onektai similarity achi. But there are some differences in oxidation number and valencies. Shegula amra ami dekhabo. Well, valency can be variable up to 2 like iron. Iron has two valency. One is ferrous and another one is ferric. Ferrous means plus 2 and ferric means iron has valency plus 3. So, iron has only two valency. So, valency can be variable up to 2, but oxidation number can be variable up to 5, 6, I am giving example like nitrogen and another one is in covalent compound, the combining atoms which has more electronegativity will get negative oxidation state. Just like you have find that in HCl chlorine has got minus 1, Ox in H2 oxygen has got minus 2 and in ammonia nitrogen has got minus 3 oxidation number because oxygen, nitrogen or chlorine they have more electronegativity than hydrogen. So, in the com in covalent compound when two non-metals combine then there is no case of losing or gaining electron, electron pair has been shared. So, in that case oxygen negative oxygen state will be assigned to that atom which has more electronegativity. Like 
suppose the compound of nitrogen and oxygen now the oxide of nitrogen say five oxides of nitrogen here nitrogen will have five different oxidation numbers how it is possible oxygen has been as this is the oxidation number of oxygen at minus 2 now nitrogen at in nitrogen atom there will be plus 2 because a compound is neutral a compound will have no charge so if oxygen atom has got minus 2 then a nitrogen atom will have plus 2 charge and in nitrous oxide this is n2o there is two nitrogen atom so two nitrogen atom acquire plus two charge so one nitrogen atom will acquire plus one charge so oxidation number of nitrogen here is plus one then no nitric oxide here oxygen minus two Now nitrogen has plus two because there is one nitrogen atom, one oxygen atom. Plus two minus two zero. Now in N two O three, oxygen has got minus two oxidation number. So minus two into three minus six. Then nitrogen atom will have atoms will have plus six oxidation number and plus six divided by two nitrogen atom. So it will come to plus three. Now in NO2, nitrogen dioxide, oxygen atom has got minus 2, 2 oxygen atom will acquire minus 4 charge, or nitrogen atom will have plus 4 charge. So oxidation number of nitrogen here in nitrogen dioxide is plus 4. Now in nitrogen dioxide, in N2O5, nitrogen pentoxide. Here oxygen atom has got minus 2. Total charges on oxygen minus 2 into 5 minus 10. Then nitrogen atom will have plus 10 charge. There is two nitrogen, there are two nitrogen atoms. So per charge per atom is plus 5. So the, these are the five oxides of nitrogen and nitrogen has different oxidation number in different oxides. In nitrous oxide, nitrogen plus 1, nitric oxide, nitrogen plus 2, in nitrogen trioxide, nitrogen got plus 3, nitrogen dioxide, nitrogen got plus 4, and in nitrogen pentoxide, nitrogen got plus 5 oxidation number. And why nitrogen has got positive oxidation number? Because oxygen has more electronegativity than nitrogen. So, oxygen will get negative oxidation number and nitrogen will get positive. Now, when this nitrogen will combine with hydrogen like in ammonia, you have already seen hydrogen plus 1 and nitrogen minus 3. When nitrogen is in this compound, this is called hydrazine, NH2, NH2, the both the nitrogen and nitrogen will get here minus 2 oxidation number because nitrogen has more electronegativity than hydrogen. And in the elemental state when nitrogen oxidation number is 0. So nitrogen has got here you have seen there are so many compounds of nitrogen, there are different oxidation numbers. Now, in case of oxygen, you know oxygen is the second highest electronegative element in the periodic table. So, I have already told that when in a covalent compound, the combining atoms which have more electronegativity will get negative oxidation state or oxidation number. 
and the atom which has less electronegativity will get positive oxidation state or oxidation number. Now, oxygen, when oxygen is the second most electronegative element in the periodic table. So, oxygen will acquire positive negative oxidation number in all the cases except when oxygen combines with fluorine because with fluorine, fluorine has the highest electronegativity in the periodic table. So, in case of fluorine, oxygen co form two compounds with fluorine. These are the two compounds. Here, oxygen will get positive oxidation state because oxygen is less electronegative than fluorine. Now, here fluorine will get minus 1 and oxygen will get plus 2 oxidation number. And in that case, fluorine will get minus 1 and oxygen will get plus 1 oxidation number. Though O2F2 is not very stable compound, we will consider OF2. Here, oxidation number of oxygen is plus 2 since oxygen has less electronegativity than fluorine. Another one is fluorine will never get positive oxidation number because fluorine is the most electronegative element in the periodic table. <coughs> now, there are another oxidation state for oxygen also, two others also. That is, when oxygen in those cases which I, we have discussed, that is oxygen in oxide form. And in oxide form, oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2. Now, when oxygen will get in peroxide form, O2 2 minus, that is charge of two oxygen atoms will be minus 2. So, charge of one oxygen atom will get minus 1. So, oxidation number of oxygen here is minus 1 in peroxide, O2 2 minus the peroxide ion. Now, <coughs> another form of oxide will be formed by oxygen that is superoxide, that is charge of two oxygen atom will have minus 1. So, oxidation number of oxygen here minus half because two atoms acquire minus 1 charge. So, charge per atom that is oxidation number will be minus half. So, oxidation number can be fractional also and valency cannot be fractional. We have already discussed about the valency of iron. Why? That is, the when iron is in ferrous form, that is Fe2 plus, the oxidation number will be plus 2. Now, when iron will be in ferric form, oxidation number of iron is plus 3. Now, you know if FeO, ferrous oxide, oxidation number of iron plus 2, ferric oxide Fe2O3, oxidation number of iron is plus 3. Now, there are another oxide of iron, Fe3O4, that is triferic tetraoxide. In that case, oxidation number of iron will be fractional. How? Oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2. Now, 4 oxygen atoms will acquire minus 8 charge. Now, the 3 oxygen atom will acquire plus 8 charge. The charge per atom will be plus 8 by 3, that is fractional. So, here oxidation number of iron is fractional. You, you have seen already oxidation number of oxygen is minus up. So, oxidation number may be fractional. Valency cannot be fractional. Now, in a compound, one atom will have different oxidation number. Sa same element, atom of same element will have different oxidation number. How? Like, 
CrO5. This is oxide of chromium. Now here, the structure of chromium is, this is famous as butterfly structure. This is the structure of CrO5. Now, here double bonded oxygen has got minus 2 oxidation number. This is oxide. Now, these single bonded oxygens are in peroxide form, and this bond is peroxide bond or peroxide linkage. Now, if I assign, let the oxidation number of chromium B X. Now, X plus minus 1 that is peroxide 4 oxygen atom has got minus 1 oxidation number and 1 oxygen atom has got minus 2 oxidation number altogether 0. So, oxidation number of chromium is here plus 6. So, oxidation number of chromium is plus 6 and oxygen has got 2 oxidation number in a same compound. There are so many elements like that. In a single compound, a atom of same element has got different oxidation number. Now, how we will find oxidation number when there are more than 2 elements in a compound? Like say, potassium dichromate K 2 C R 2 O 7. Now, there are three elements potassium, chromium, oxygen. Let I will find oxidation number of chromium. Let the oxidation number of chromium be x I mean x zoranilam. Now, potassium is a plus 1 valency because it is alkali metal loses 1 electron. So, 2 potassium has got plus 2 charge. Now, 2 chromium has got 2 x oxidation number and oxygen here minus 2 and 7 oxygen at also minus 14. Therefore, chromium has got plus 6 oxidation number. When there are more than 2 elements, if you has are asked to find the oxidation number of 1 element, then we will, we will assign him x. Now, from an a oxidation number of other elements, you will find the oxidation number of the said element. Another example I am giving. potassium permanganate KMnO4. I am determining oxidation number of manganese. So, let the oxidation number of manganese be x. Now, potassium plus 1, manganese x and oxygen has got oxidation number minus 2 and there is 4 oxidation oxygen atom equals to 0. 
because compound is neutral. So, x equals to plus 7. That is oxidation number of manganese is plus 7. So, in that way, if you have more than 2 elements in a compound, you will determine oxidation number of a single element by assigning him uh, oxidation number of x and they will, then you will find the oxidation number of the element from other elements. Now, already I have told that a same atom ha has got different oxidation number in the same element. There are few more examples like ammonium nitrate NH4 NO3. Now, these two nitrogen atom has got different oxidation number here. How? This is ammonium that is NH4 plus and NO3 minus. Ammonium nitrate, there are two radicals, compound radicals, ammonium and nitrate. Now, if, you are if I separate these two radical, in case of ammonium NH4 plus, oxidation number of nitrogen equals to nitrogen if you find x, then hydrogen plus 4 equals to plus 1. So, nitrogen is minus 3 oxidation number. And in case of NO3 minus oxidation number of nitrogen, oxygen, nitrogen you consider x, oxygen minus 2 into 3 minus 6 and x minus 6 equals to minus 1. So, x equals to plus 5. So, nitrogen has got two different oxidation number in same compound. Two nitrogen atom has got two different oxidation number. Now, in that case, in that case, you have to find average oxidation number. So, if I assign this nitrogen is minus 3 and this nitrogen has got plus 5 oxidation number. Now, how we will find average oxidation number? Average oxidation number of nitrogen is minus 3 plus 5 divided by 2 that is plus 1. So, in that case, you have to calculate average oxidation number. I am giving few more examples. Acetic acid, CH3, C double H. You have already know the formula. Now, here two carbon atoms have different oxidation number. This carbon atom in CH3 has got minus 3 oxidation number and this carbon atom in C double H group carboxylic acid group has got plus 3 oxidation number. Now, the average oxidation number of car carbon here 0, minus 3 plus 3 divided by 2 0. Another example I am giving ethanol CH3 CH2 OH ethanol. Now, in that case two different carbon atoms has got two different oxidation numbers. In case of CH3 in this first carbon atom oxygen had got, a carbon has got minus 3 oxidation number and in CH2O uh, this carbon atom has got hydrogen 2 that is plus 3 minus 2 plus 1 
that is minus 1 oxidation number. Now, if the average oxidation number you have calculated, then it will be minus 3 minus 1 divided by 2 that is minus 2. So, in that is in that situation where a same atom of same element has have got different oxidation number in same compound, then you will have to find out average oxidation number. Now, how oxidation number will help as for determining oxidation and reduction reaction or identifying oxidation and reduction reaction. If oxidation number of any element increases in a compound, then we can tell oxidation occurs. And if oxidation number decreases in a chemical reaction, then we can tell reduction occurs. I am telling how it is. Suppose, I am coming one reaction Hydrogen sulfide reacts with chlorine to form hydrogen chloride and sulfur. Here the oxidation number of sulfur in H2S is minus 2 because hydrogen is plus 1 and sulfur has more electronegativity than hydrogen. So, sulfur will get negative oxidation number and chlorine in elemental state will have 0 oxidation number. And in HCl, chlorine will get minus 1. And in elemental set state, sulfur will get 0 oxidation number. Now, look at the reaction. Oxidation number of sulfur increases from minus 2 to 0. That is, H2S. oxidizes. H2S has been oxidized to sulfur because oxidation number of sulfur increases to from minus 2 to 0 and oxidation number of chlorine decreases from 0 to minus 1. So, chlorine has been reduced here and it is called reduction. So, if in a substance oxidation number of any atom increases in a reaction, then the substance will be oxidized and we will tell oxidation occurs. And if in a substance oxidation number decreases, that is oxidation number of particular atom decreases, then the substance has been reduced. Now, here who is oxidizing agent? Hydrogen sulfide has been oxidized. So, it is a reducing agent and chlorine has been reduced. So, chlorine is an oxidizing agent. So, we can tell oxidizing agent is that substance in which oxidation number of one atom decreases because when oxidation number decreases, 
the substance has been reduced and the substance is oxidizing agent. And if oxidation number of a substance increases, then the substance has been oxidized and substance will be considered as reducing agent. Another example I am giving. Sir, show my price is money minute can I got here again. So, in that case, you will find oxidation number and after finding oxidation number, you will determine the redox reaction whether the substance has been oxidized or has been reduced. It will depend on the decrease or increase in oxidation number of the atom of that particular substance of the atom of the element in that particular substance. So, in such a way we will say that oxidation and reduction occurs simultaneously and oxidation number will increase and in that particular reaction oxidation number will decrease also. And losing of electron is another method that is hmm. losing of electron is oxidation and gaining of electron is reduction. So, I am just try to emphasize on particular topics in a redox reaction which you will study in the first semester. At the morning, you know, sir, as Ketomade Shongi J. Bishop and Alutuna Hulu, or put it to the Shampova, the Hulu Hotu Shitabar, Tomade Kokuna Sir Porabin, Ajara Itaraku dictate to our YouTube, the Kennebec Borabushi, as get education online, Tomak in Tarak with Antipurbe. Thank you so much, sir. Up near the Kishomadi Assembly, Porabar Dakotu Shawashongi, Akunka Motepotante.